Welcome, friends. Welcome back to the kitchen. It is mid-June 2020, and I haven't had a haircut since January. Um, when this whole lockdown started, I already needed a haircut, and now it's getting really desperate. And it's probably going to be um, at least a couple of weeks before barber shops open here in Toronto. So uh, I have been wearing a hat a lot lately. You may have noticed that in the videos. Today I decided to go hatless. We'll see how that works out. We're going to make an ice cream today. And I'm going to use the last of the Easter candy that we've had hanging around our house. I'm just going to stick it into a regular vanilla ice cream and I'm going to see what happens. So I've got some Easter cream eggs and a small chocolate bunny. Now I'm going to use the same ice cream base that I've been using in the last few recipes. And we're going to start out with 35% cream and 3.25% milk. To that, I'm going to add some dry milk powder. Now this is skim milk powder, so it is mostly just milk protein. And I'm putting that in because we're trying to do two things. The added protein from the milk powder is going to help with texture immensely. Uh, it will help maintain the structure of the tiny little air bubbles inside the ice cream. And those air bubbles are going to make the ice cream smoother um, and easier to scoop. It's not going to freeze as hard. We're also going to add at this point some salt just a little bit of salt and the next thing is corn syrup the dreaded corn syrup so this is not high fructose corn syrup but it is an invert sugar corn syrup and an invert sugar is what you want to add again um, to home ice cream in order to get better texture and the thing about an invert sugar is that it essentially lowers the freezing point of water of the water that's in the milk and by lowering that freezing point, you get ice crystals that are smaller. And the smaller the ice crystals, the better the texture of the ice cream, um, which leads to better flavor as well. So we're going to stir that in, and we're just going to bring this up to a point where it's starting to scald. You don't want it to boil, but you do want it to get quite hot. Okay, so the Easter cream eggs, I've got a small bag of mini eggs here, and I'm going to take about half of them, and I'm going to melt them into... The ice cream that half I'm going to save and put into the ice cream when it's half frozen I'm also going to put this uh, this bunny in here so I'm going to peel these and melt them into the cream mixture okay while that melts I have here five egg yolks and some sugar and I'm going to beat these together until they change color and they're light and airy. Okay, back to the milk. Now you have to be very careful with this. What I'm learning is that the Easter cream eggs don't melt very nicely. They seem to stick to the bottom and clump together. So you're going to have to keep an eye on this and really kind of stir it so that these clumps don't burn to the bottom of the pan. Otherwise, I think this milk is up to temperature. So the next step is to temper the egg yolks. And this isn't that really difficult thing that most people make it out to be. If you just go slow and steady, everything is fine. The idea is that you want to bring the egg yolks up to temperature without curdling them or cooking them or turning them into scrambled eggs. And that's as simple as just dribbling in a little bit of hot milk at a time while whisking. And you just do a slow, steady stream, let off a little bit, keep whisking. A little bit more and you're going to bring the eggs up to temperature and then it's just going to be fine so at this point the eggs are up to the temperature of the milk and now we just pour them back into the pot and so what we're doing here is making a custard and the idea is that we want to bring this up to about 170 degrees fahrenheit somewhere between 170 and 180 degrees fahrenheit that's going to do two things. It's going to cook it and create a thick custardy type mixture. Not too thick, but a thicker custardy mixture. And it's also going to cook the eggs. So for people who are afraid of uncooked eggs, this is the step where you're pasteurizing the egg. So just give it a little bit of a whisk. Don't let it boil. Don't let it burn. Bring it up to 170 degrees Fahrenheit and then we'll move on. There we go. So we have reached the temperature we need. We'll pull that off. Now, if you go over that 170 degrees, it's not a huge deal. That is kind of the target temperature. That's the lowest temperature that you're looking for. You go up to 180, 185, everything's gonna be fine. 
just don't bring it to a boil. Okay, so got everything out of the pot. I've got a little bit of vanilla and I'm gonna put that in now. You don't wanna put it in while it's still on the heat. Stir this in. Now I'm going to bring this down to as cold as I can get it without freezing it before I put it into the ice cream machine. And this cooling step is vitally important. It really helps you get a much better texture in the end. So I'm gonna cool this quickly and I'll see you back here soon. Okay, the ice cream batter is fully chilled. The ice cream maker is on and down to temperature in this case. You just want to give the custard a little bit of a stir. It could have thickened a little bit and you want to make sure that it's, it's fairly loose before you pour it in. You don't want any chunky bits. And in we go. And while the ice cream is chilling, I'm just going to cut up these cream eggs and we'll mix them in a little bit later. This is the point where the ice cream machine is telling me to put the mix-ins in. So we will add those last few pieces of chopped up Easter cream egg. And let it go. The machine has stopped, so it's time to transfer the ice cream into another container. Now, I've had this glass bowl in the freezer for a while, so it is really cold. Um, one of the things you don't want to do is transfer your partially frozen ice cream into a warm bowl. Um, you want to make sure your bowl is cold. So the ice cream at this point is just soft serve. So we need to get it into this bowl and into the freezer to harden up. Okay, an hour or two in the freezer, just to let this firm up, and then we'll give it a taste. As always, super excited to see ice cream. Hey friends, hey Glenn. Ice cream. So, Cadbury cream egg ice cream with a, um, a, a, a small uh, Easter rabbit thrown in for good measure. Ah. So it's kind of a chocolate ice cream, it's kind of, uh, who knows? What flavor are Cadbury cream eggs? Like, what is the flavor inside beyond sugar, sugar? bomb? Sugar bomb, yeah. All right. So some of them are melted into the- Okay, because I see a then, few whole, wholeish ones. And then there's some chunks I threw in at the end. Oh, get it on there, there we go. Little chunks of egg. Kind of a- Almost a weird caramelly flavor. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah. kind of surprised that there's a caramelly flavor to it. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's ice cream. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, when you get a little piece of the cream egg in your mouth, and you get some a hit of that sugar and the crunch of the chocolate, this is really good. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. Actually, I'm always surprised when we make crazy things and they work out. Mm -hmm. You think, oh, what's that? I like candy pizza. I really still think candy pizza was a good idea. <laughs> okay, so yet another winning ice cream flavor. Um, we're going to keep making ice cream over the summer. Although we are now officially out of chocolate treats. We're out of chocolate <laughs> treats, that's true. So I've got some really good ideas already from people who have left comments telling me about various ice creams that I've never heard of. Leave a comment below. Let me know what ice cream you'd like to see us make. Um, thanks for stopping by. Stay safe. See you again soon.